Hi there, Mrs. Elke here. Today I decided to paint a perch fish. Paint, I drew the fish, I didn't paint it. Um, this is how to draw. And I did this because we are getting ready to go on a fishing trip. And so I've had fish on the mind. Today I was wrestling with fishing poles because they were constantly getting tangled. And my children were practicing casting the, the fishing line in our backyard, of course, with no hooks on it. And so I thought, oh, how fun, how to draw a fish. So this is a perch, and I uh, hope you enjoy this tutorial and see if you can come up with a fun uh, perch just like this one, and maybe even add some color to it as well. All right, hope you enjoy this drawing tutorial. Please like and subscribe below if you are, in, if you are enjoying these videos. All right, thank you. See you next time. To begin our perch drawing, I'm going to start just by kind of making some guidelines for myself. So I want the perch's mouth to start right around here, and then I want the tail to start kind of right about here so that it, it doesn't go off the edge of my page. And that means that the actual fish's uh, body should be, oh, right about up to here and down to about here. So now that I've got my guidelines, I can go ahead and make my basic fish shape. So I'm gonna actually start at my top little dash here and I'm going to draw a line that kind of swoops down to the front and connects to my front dash like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make a line that connects all the way back to my dash. It's gonna go a little bit taller than my dash in the back. And then the mouth is kind of gonna jut out a little bit on the bottom. And then it'll curve down like that and connect to the dash on the bottom. And then I'm going to bring it back straight first like this and then it's going to kind of curve up towards the back of the fish. And then the tail is just going to kind of fan out a little bit towards the top and then a little bit towards the bottom. And I'm going to just kind of curve it around along the top and go back out along the bottom. Okay, so there's my very basic fish shape. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add an eye and I'm going to start by making a rather large circle towards the front of the fish like this and then I'm going to make another circle inside of it like that for the eye and I'll color all of it but maybe a little section in black. For the mouth it's kind of goes in a downright position like that so I'm going to go ahead and make the and then um, we'll add kind of where the, the front part of the head stops. So there's a line that's gonna kind of curve around like this um, and connect almost to where the mouth is. And then at the very bottom of the fish, I'm gonna kind of make a line to show where the head kind of stops, which is like right in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that line. It's kind of an arrow pointing towards the back of the fish. Right past there, we've got a fin, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a little fin here by making a curve line on the top, and then kind of a slight curve on the bottom, and then kind of bringing those around like that. And if you want to, you can go ahead and draw some thinner lines to make it look like a little fin. But at the same point, the fish has a fin along the bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. And then there's a fin on the top that starts also around the same spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some diagonal lines. The first one's a little shorter, the next one's a little bit longer. And they're gonna kind of go at an angle like this, and then they're gonna get shorter and shorter and shorter, like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect those lines with these little loops for the top fin. So that one's a little bit fancier. Okay, there's another fin in the back here. 
that also is diagonal lines, but these are more kind of the same, the same length. So I can go ahead and, and make a little line like this to connect them and then I can just draw those lines in there. I have a fin along the bottom that kind of matches that one. So right where the fish's back kind of comes up, I'm gonna make a, a little fin that kind of goes like this, almost makes them look like a square or an L shape. And I'll go ahead and add those lines in there. And then of course the tail, I'm gonna go ahead and add the lines that go back on the tail, starting where that little dash was when I first began. And then they kind of fan out to the rest of the tail. So you can do as many or as few lines as you would like. All right, now the perch kind of has this, these subtle stripes going on with the scales. So I'm gonna go ahead and indicate those with my um, marker here. I'm gonna start just a little bit behind where the head is. And I'm just gonna make kind of a bunch of lines like this to show where the first stripe would be. So there's kind of the first one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that for some of the other ones. So I can make pretty thick lines like that. There's a second stripe. And I'm gonna kind of equally space these stripes all the way back down the fish. They kind of get they're wider along the top and then they're a little bit more thin at the bottom of the stripes. And so you can do all the way back to the back of the fish, like so. And then instead of drawing every last scale, I'm just gonna kind of indicate some other scales, but I wanna space them a little bit farther away so that you can really see the difference between the stripes and then the rest of the fish. The bottom um, is almost white, so I'm gonna really try to stay away from adding too many marks um, along the bottom of the fish. So I'm just kind of adding a couple more scales in between. And then I mean, that's pretty much as far as I'm gonna go. I don't really wanna get too detailed on the face and I'm gonna kind of leave it as so. If you wanted to, of course, you could add a couple bubbles that the fish is uh, swimming along here. Or you could add, you know, some plants or something underneath. But there you have it, a drawing of a perch. Thanks for watching.